diuretics lower blood pressure by lowering the intravascular volume and sodium content. Lower sodium content may also reduce the vascular tone. It is mentioned that thiazide diuretics reduce the extracellular volume by about 2 liters and plasma volume by 300 ml in about 2 days of usage. But some of these effects on volume contraction get compensated on long term usage due to compensatory mechanisms. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Moreover, if volume loss was the main reason for lowering blood pressure with diuretics, loop diuretics which produce more of volume loss should have been more powerful antihypertensives than thiazide diuretics. But the fact is the reverse. Except in situations of volume overload, where loop diuretics have a better effect on lowering blood pressure. Lower sodium content may also reduce the vascular tone. It has been shown that total peripheral resistance falls with long-term diuretic treatment. This lowering of total peripheral resistance occurs only on long-term usage and in the acute state, thiazide diuretics increase the total peripheral resistance by reflex sympathetic activity in response to volume depletion. It is interesting to note that while diuretics lower an elevated blood pressure, they seldom reduce blood pressure in normotensives. Another notable factor is that antihypertensive effects of thiazide diuretics is persistent while their plasma half-life is relatively short. A direct vasodilator effect of thiazides have also been shown in small experimental studies. In experimental preparations, methyclothiazide inhibits the contractile response to norepinephrine. This effect was lost when the endothelium was removed, suggesting a role for endothelium derived relaxing factor nitric oxide in this response. Pyrenolactone, an aldosterone antagonist, is useful in countering the hypokalemia often associated with diuretics. It has an additional effect on hypertension due to aldosterone excess situations like primary hyperaldosteronism. First set of references on how diuretics lower blood pressure. Second set of references on how diuretics lower blood pressure. Third set of references on how diuretics lower blood pressure. Final set of references on how diuretics lower blood pressure. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.